What's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking, determine the equation of the tangent plane to the surface z is equal to square root of x square plus y square at the point negative 3, 4, 5. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to rearrange this equation and equate this one to 0. So the f of x, y, z is going to be equivalent to square root of x square plus y square minus z that's going to be equal to 0. Now after we rearrange this one what we have to do is we have to find the derivative of this one respect to x, respect to y and respect to z. So we are going to find the partial derivative. Partial derivative respect to x, partial derivative respect to y and partial derivative respect to z. Now let's go ahead and do that. So f of x, partial derivative respect to x. When we take the derivative respect to x we treat y and z as a constant. But before we do that, we better write this one, like it's better to write this one in terms of power half, right? x, y, and z is equal to x square plus y square power half minus z is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and find the partial derivative. f of x is going to be equal to, here we are going to choose the, use the chain rule, half time x square plus y square negative half times the inside derivative it's going to apply only for the x value since we are taking the partial derivative with respect to x it's going to be only x value other the other one is going to be zero right so we multiply this one by 2x and uh, that's if we simplify this one that's going to give us x over negative half mean 1 over square root of this value so we can put square root of x square plus y square and that's going to be the derivative partial derivative to respect to x now partial derivative to respect to y is going to be same thing the only difference is now instead of 2x we are going to have 2y right because again chain rule that's going to be half x square plus y square power minus half times the inside derivative is going to be respect to y so that's going to be 2y and if we simplify this one that's going to be y over square root of x square plus y square. Now for the partial derivative of z that's going to be this uh, whole thing is going to be 0 since when we take the partial derivative to respect to z this is going to be treated as a constant so this is going to see this is going to be 0 and this is going to be just negative 1. Now we have found out the partial derivative the next thing we have to do is we have to substitute this value we have the point that is given so f of x in this point negative 3 4 5 and here negative 3 is x value 4 is y value 5 is z value since we only have x and y value we only take care of this two part so negative 3 is x value divided by square root of negative 3 square plus 4 square and let's simplify this one so this is going to be negative 3 and in the square root we are going to have 9 plus 16 and that's going to be square root of 25 square root of 25 is going to be equal to 5 so this is going to be negative 3 over 5 and then let's go ahead and do for this one here we are going to put f of y negative 3 4 5 and again the top part is going to be y value here y value is 4 divided by the square root of 25 we already calculated this bottom part right and this is going to be 4 over 5 and fc value is already in the number so we don't have to calculate that one we have f of x f of y and f of z now we can go ahead and plug it in this equation to find the equation of the tangent plane now we have to get rid of this part we need some space we only need these values. These three values are the important thing. Let's note those values down so we can get rid of all of that. f of x is equal to negative 3 over 5 and f of y is equal to 4 over 5 and f of z is equal to negative 1. Right? Now let's get rid of these parts. Okay.
and now let's continue this thing also we can get rid of this thing too right okay now let's go ahead and write our equation with like in terms of this so first f of x that is negative 3 over 5 negative 3 over 5 times x minus x0 is going to be this value the this x value that's going to be negative 3 so negative negative 3 that's going to be positive 3 right here and then plus f of y that is 4 over 5 and then y y minus y minus y0 y minus y0 is going to be this 4 and then plus fz is negative 1 so we can put directly negative 1 right here and then that is multiplied by negative actually z minus z0 z minus z0 is going to be 5 so we put 5 right here that's equal to 0 now let's simplify this one but before we simplify it's better to multiply everything by 5 in that way we don't have to deal with this denominator right so let, let's multiply this one by 5 this one by 5 so if you multiply this side by 5 that's not going to that's still going to be 0 so we don't have to worry about that this side is going to become negative 3 x because 5 5 cancel right negative 3 x plus 3 plus 4 y minus 4 because this 5 cancel and this is going to become negative 5 z minus 5 and that is equal to 0 now we can simplify so this is going to be negative 3x minus 9 minus 9 plus 4y minus 16 and then minus 5z plus 25 is equal to 0 now let's uh, rearrange rearrange this one like we have to bring the number to the other side of the equation so let's write the x y z here that's going to be negative 3x plus 4y minus 5z is equal to here we have negative 9 plus actually negative 9 plus negative 16 that's going to be negative 25 negative 25 plus positive 25 that's going to be 0 so this one is just 0 and uh, now uh, if you want to write this one in terms of positive first terms like mostly some books prefer to write this one in terms of positive values so we multiply this one by negative 1 so that in that way we are going to have 3x minus 4y plus 5c is equal to 0 these two are same thing it's uh, another way to write this one right and that's going to be our final answer that's going to be the equation of the tangent plane and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.